This is the tale of the Mother Goose Demolition Company. These are beavers. It so happens that these beavers were intruding on the land of the gentleman Farmer John. I need your help, Mother Goose, said Farmer John. The beavers and their kindred have dammed up my irrigation ditches. Well, of course I will, said Mother Goose. For a price. Mother Goose led the farmer to her shop. These are the tools of my trade, she said, ready the TNT and C4. We'll deal with those pesky beavers yet. Mother Goose went to see the beavers at the edge of the farm. She was greeted by eager beaver. This structure is condemned and scheduled for demolition. Move your people out by tomorrow, dearie. What? Said the beaver annoyingly. He used a number of big words, but Mother Goose was not intimidated by his bluster. With a snap of her fingers, Mother Goose triggered a series of explosives to destroy a nearby treehouse. The screams of its inhabitants echoed throughout the woods. Eager Beaver lunged for Mother Goose, but stopped as she pulled out a remote detonator. Fire in the hole, sweet pea, she said with a smile and pointed to a block of C4. A great conflagration ripped apart the structure. The crows circled around their nest, cawing curses at Mother Goose. She waved at them politely. A massive wrecking ball rolled up to the tree. The six-ton steel sphere of destruction annihilated their natural habitat not even giving them a chance to fly away. Beaver could only watch in horror, as one of the goslings put on some kind of high-tech science fiction visor. Better close your eyes, dear Mr. Beaver. With a touch of a button, the gosling fired a blazing optic blast from the device. The laser ripped apart the hole dearest friends, Major Hopsy Waddle. There was nothing left but eager beavers home. The forest animals gathered in droves, angry at losing their homes. You'll never beat us all! Mother Goose only smiled as she withdrew a Kalishnikov AK-47 from her picnic basket. Oh, is that so? said Mother Goose. Eager Beaver could only backpedal in fear as the goslings unpacked a half dozen more assault rifles. Mother Goose said nothing, only smiling. The goslings and Mother Goose fired into the crowd with their fully automatic weapons. They laughed and laughed. When they finally had run out of ammunition, there was no one left except for eager beaver. She had saved him for last, to let him watch. She pointed to his ancestral home, where a series of explosives and C4 charges had been placed atop the sturdy structure. Eager beaver begged her on his knees. Please, please, you've made your point. Don't do this. Mother Goose looked into his eyes and depressed the firing stud on the detonator. The home of Eagle Beaver and his family disappeared in a cloud of fire and smoke. Mother Goose merely walked away, returning to Farmer John. She did not even look at the explosion. Farmer John was waiting for her. He passed her a heavy briefcase full of cash. Great work, he said stoically. I always come through, dearie. She tipped her head, her glasses glinting in the sunlight. The two walked away. Eager Beaver came to some time later, awakening amidst the rubble of his childhood home. He did not scream. He did not scream. Mother Goose 
Demolition Company by Robotic Potato. The End.